Hello everyone, welcome to part two of this two-part series where we are designing this dystopian style scarf and trapper hat. In part one, we designed the scarf. So today we will finish this series by designing the trapper hat. We are working in Marvelous Designer 12 and I have also included the project file in the description below. The fabrics that we will use today have been imported into the fabric window on the right. Let's get started. First, we'll freeze and hide this scarf. We'll also delete the hair. In the fabric window, select the trim hardware fabric and we'll use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle. In the 3D window, let's rotate and position this pattern to the side of the head. Now let's start to shape the base pattern. Add a curve point and drag up. We'll select both of these points and we'll convert them to curve points. Drag these curve points in so that we can create a semicircle shape. Duplicate this pattern by creating a symmetric pattern with sewing. Let's use the line lengths of the side pattern pieces as a guide for the measurements for the center pattern piece. Select the rectangle tool, left click, and we'll input 80 for the width and 235 for the height. Let's position it in the center and use the segment sewing tool to sew these pieces together. Simulate and continue to make adjustments until you get your desired look. I want this hat to be more close fitting, so let's decrease the width of the side pattern pieces. Now we are going to design the ear flaps. And to get a rough measurement for the ear flaps, we're going to check the line lengths of the two side pattern pieces and the back of the center pattern piece. Select the rectangle tool, left click, and for the width, we'll input 430.4 and the height, we'll input 50. Move the position of the ear flap pattern piece to the side of the head. Before we start to shape the ear flap, let's use the internal polygon line tool to cut this in half. We'll use a combination of points and curve points to create the shape of the ear flap. Once you're happy with the shape, let's lower the particle distance. Right click on this line and select Unfold Symmetric Editing with Sewing. This will allow us to edit this pattern symmetrically based on the center line. Before we sew the ear flap to the other pattern pieces, let's freeze this side pattern piece. We'll use the free sewing tool to sew the pieces together. You can use the select move tool on the 3D window to select the garment and use the blue dot as a reference point. Let's unfreeze the side pattern piece and make more adjustments. If you are experiencing intersecting or collision issues with the avatar, try increasing the skin offset. Now let's add a design on the front of the hat. With the add point split line tool, right click on the line and on line one, input 30. Then right click on the point and select add perpendicular internal line on the X axis. Select okay and we'll drag this internal line down. We'll create an internal line on the center pattern piece and align it with the internal lines on the side pattern pieces. Select all the internal lines and cut and sew. Let's measure the line lengths of the pattern pieces we just cut so that we can use it as a guide for the measurements of our visor. 
create a rectangle. For the width, input 157.9 and for the height, 50. Move and rotate the visor pattern piece closer to the hat. Let's use the blue dot as a reference for how we'll sew these pattern pieces together. With the free sewing tool, let's start with the visor pattern piece. Left click the point, slide along the line, and left click this point. Let's repeat the same process in order to sew it to the other pattern pieces. The only difference is that we will press and hold shift. Let's simulate. Add a curve point to shape and adjust the visor. We can also use the style line editing tools in the 3D window to make further adjustments to the visor. Let's use the move style line editing tool to extend the length of the visor. Keep in mind that when you use the style line editing tool, it will generate additional points onto your pattern pieces. In the 2D window, let's add more curve points to continue shaping our visor pattern piece. Right click the ear flap pattern piece, select remove linked editing. Let's offset as internal line. Cut and sew. And apply the knit pique jersey fabric to this new pattern piece. Select all the pattern pieces, right click and select layer clone over. Let's also remove the linked editing. Change the fabric of this pattern piece to the knit piquet jersey fabric. For the rest of the pattern pieces, assign them to the nylon featherweight fabric. Let's also increase the shrinkage weft and shrinkage warp to 105. In the fabric window, select knit piquet jersey and change the thickness to two. Select these pattern pieces, layer clone over, and remove linked editing. Next, we'll merge these three pattern pieces so that we can sew it as a single pattern piece. We'll use the free sewing tool to sew it to the hat. Let's use offset as internal line to create a trim for the hat. Select the pattern outlines, offset as internal line, and we'll cut and sew. Select the new pattern pieces, layer clone over, and we'll also remove the linked editing. Let's use the 3D window to sew these together. Grab the segment sewing tool, hover over the line, select it, and when you're ready to complete the sewing, double click the other line. Let's repeat this process for the remaining trim pattern pieces. Simulate and make adjustments as needed. We'll also change the fabric of these trim pattern pieces to knit piquet jersey fabric. Now let's add some eyelets so that we can create openings in the hat for our cord. Add an internal line to the center pattern piece and cut and sew. 
add an internal ellipse We'll offset it as an internal line. We'll copy and paste this eyelet to add it to the other side. Select the inner ellipse and convert to hole. We'll do this for both sides. Select the outer ellipse and cut and sew. In the fabric window, copy the trim hardware fabric and assign it to the eyelet pattern pieces. In the property editor, we'll change the material type to metal and increase the thickness to one. Now let's add our cord. Go to Library, Hardware and Trims, Cords and Cord Ends, and select one of the cords. We only need one, so let's go ahead and delete this cord. Position the cord as close as possible to the hat. Adjust the length and let's use the tack tool to attach it to the hat. Place the first tack on the cord and the second tack on the inner center pattern piece. Use the edit tack tool to move the location of the tack higher on the hat. Let's simulate and pull the cord down until it fits into the hole. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. Extend the length of the cord and pull it down in the 3D window. Continue to make adjustments until you're happy with how it looks. The last detail that we'll add is a strap. Duplicate the knit piquet jersey fabric and we'll use this as the fabric for our strap. Add a rectangle and we'll use an internal line to cut and sew it into two pieces. Select the top pattern piece and clone as internal shape. Place this shape onto the ear flap pattern piece. We'll use the free sewing tool to sew this pattern piece to its internal shape. To create a loop, we'll sew the bottom pattern outline of the bottom piece to the bottom pattern outline of the top piece. Let's change the particle distance to 5 so that we can see this detail better. Let's copy and paste the outer ellipse that we made earlier when we were creating the eyelets for the cord. And we'll create two internal ellipses by using offset as internal line. Cut and sew the middle internal ellipse, and then we'll also cut and sew the outer internal ellipse.
select the ellipse and assign them to the trim hardware eyelets fabric. Select the outer ellipse, and in the property editor, let's change the additional thickness rendering to 1. Here is the final garment. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments, questions, or even feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.